I'm Carly. And I'm Katie. And we're breaking down this week's episode of The Bachelorette. So things started with a group date, and they had Rachel and Brian, and they went through this marriage obstacle course. And if getting married is anything like going in an ice bucket, eating cake, and fighting with each other, then I'm ready to get married. So Lincoln ends up winning it, and he wins a sacred picture of him and Becca that he like cherishes and wants to sleep with at night. Right, so it was a mock wedding, and I actually think that this might have been the first time Lincoln ever took a picture with a woman before, because he was really excited about so it. So he basically kept putting it everywhere, and and Connor was pissed off. He's like, get that out of my face. Yeah. So he literally takes it and chucks it in the pool. Glass breaks. And it was literally a pool filled with Lincoln's tears because he just could not stop crying. He was literally crying like a little baby and was like, this is broken and my heart is broken. And, and it's like, shut like, the we up, get Lincoln. It. It's your first picture with a woman ever, but you'll have more and like maybe keep your chin up and you'll win the thing and then you can have a real wedding picture televised by ABC. So then after that, we saw Blake's one-on-one -on -one date. So basically, he and Becca go into this random warehouse where there's all of Ari's shit, and they start smashing it with a sledgehammer. And Lil John was there, and we were like, what? <laughs> like, okay, hey, Lil John, what's <laughs> up? Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it was really ridiculous. Becca came in like a wrecking ball, and I'm sure it was really cathartic and felt great, but it's kind of weird to have a whole date dedicated to your ex-fiance when you're with your new boyfriend. Like, we get it, Ari sucks. And then after that, we had Colton talking about Tia. That was awkward. Yeah, speaking of people who sucks. Colton. Suck. Colton came in and he's like, here's two things you need to know about me. One, I'm a virgin. Two, I also dated your friend. Those things are kind of related, and also, I suck. Like, what does he think Becca's gonna say to that? Like, ooh, sexy. Yeah. Like, let's have a threesome. Yeah, me marry and Tia. me. Perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> it just, not. like, was not going well for Colton, and Becca was like, I really like you, but I don't really like that, and it just got really tense and weird. She cried more than Lincoln, which is saying a lot. Yeah, because it's a Lincoln, lot of tears. <laughs> yeah, just tears everywhere. So after that was Naked Jordan. Um, he literally starts the episode by being like, you should put on confidence before you put on your pantyhose. And then he took off his confidence and his pantyhose. So he saw his naked bod walking around, his brass balls waving in the air. And, and we were like, so, please. It's so ridiculous. Like, when women are on The Bachelor, they have to wear gowns, they have to wear heels, and he shows up to a rose ceremony in a blanket. Like, you're not Corinne, you're not Abraham Lincoln, you can't take a nap, put on some clothes. So for someone who talks so much about fashion, it's crazy how naked he got. Um, he talked about being a model all the time. Yeah, we actually I don't know have been heard, but he's a model. He's actually a model. We actually have an in the field reporter who has some thoughts on that. Corinne, what do you think about uh, the male model? Jordan, this might be a news flash to you, but you're not that cute, okay? And how many more times do you want to mention that you're a model? Oh wait, is he a model? I forget. Oh no, I didn't. He told us a million times. <laughs> Um, okay. So we actually have some stats for this week. This week was full of very, very petty people. Up first, we have Connor, just because he literally threw glass into a pool. Like, yeah, just like, we safety get it. hazard, You're calm jealous, down. but you don't have to be such a brat about it. Yeah, absolutely not. And then we have the entire Bachelor franchise, because they literally planned a date based around Ari. I never want to see Ari's little salt and pepper face again. And we got to see it for a whole 40 minutes. Absolutely not. Yeah, Next, we go. have Lincoln, uh, because he cheated on the group date. Who cheats? It's literally like an obstacle not course. Not only did he cheat, but then he was gloating so much. You don't get to be that proud when you didn't earn the victory. Absolutely not. Um, then we have Jordan because he just got naked everywhere. He was literally at the rose ceremony in a pink blanket and underwear. He looked like he just ran out of a burning building. And like, if you're getting naked on episode two, it can only go downhill and you're starting really low. We don't want to see your junk, Jordan. Put it away. Just like, here's the standard, here's Jordan. And then we have Colton for dating Tia. Not cool. Just like Colton, if you wanted to be a part of Bachelor Nation, just like, you should have waited out your application. You didn't need to slide into girls' DMs. Just like, you're on the show, you're doing the damn thing. Should have been patient. Then we have David for being a little because he starts giving a speech about the difference between right and wrong. Like, I'm sorry, David, I didn't realize you were my third grade teacher. And I'm not trying to get lectured by a chicken right now. Absolutely not. Up next, we have the small children who coached the uh, dodgeball date. To be honest, I would have put them higher, but I'm terrified of them and I don't want to get my ass. They look like they could beat the shit out of us. But also, I'd love to have them be inspirational speakers. I would lose like 30 pounds if they just told me not to eat cookies. <laughs> and then we have Blake, who is actually the opposite of Petty. He was a shining Blake! star. And we love you so much, Blake. We love you, Blake. Please marry us. us if you don't pick Becca. I I mean, if she doesn't pick you. And if not, you can pick us. Okay, so then we have our MVPs for the week. Um, mine is Leo, because every time I look at him, I get flashbacks to when I was in third grade going through puberty. And then my MVP of this week was Connor. Like, I know he was kind of a little baby, but in the end, he just really matured up. And also, if you're gonna be petty, go to Black China levels of pettiness, and I really admire that. And then in the end, he was like, this is me, this is not who I am, 
let's throw this version of me in the pool. And they did it, and I loved it. And I think it's gonna have a really promising season. Least valuable players, mine has to be Jordan. Um, if he talks about fashion one more time, a little baby bird is gonna fall off its nest and die. Like, please shut the f up. And my loser this week would have to be Lincoln. You cheated your way to the top and then you were a jerk about it. Just like, do better, Lincoln. You're also rumored to sh on the floor, and I don't like that. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.